What is centrifugal force? You know something? There really isn't any such thing. It's an imaginary force, but it's a term that's very convenient for describing certain things in the everyday world. For example, suppose you're a passenger on a car that's taking a really fast turn. You slide across a seat. The easiest way to describe what's happened to you is to say that there's been a force forcing you to slide across a seat, the centrifugal force. But just for a moment, take the point of view from somebody in the street. They don't see any force on you. They see a car that starts to take a circle. Your body's trying to go in the original straight line. The car actually slides underneath you. But usually that's kind of hard to imagine from a street person's point of view. So, since you're usually the passenger, you make up this word, centrifugal force, to describe what's happened to you. Let me show you a little bit more exciting example of centrifugal force. I'm in the rotor now, and in a minute they're going to start turning this thing around and around. As we go faster and faster, there's going to be more and more centrifugal force on me. Well, that's the way I'm going to describe it. Well, what's really happening is that my body's trying to go in a straight line, and the only reason I'm going in a circle is because the wall's forcing me to. Well, it's hard for me to imagine that the wall is pushing against my back. It feels more like that there's a terrific force pushing outward from the center of the circle on my chest. As we go faster and faster, there's more and more of that centrifugal force, at least I swear there's a centrifugal force acting on me. More and more vertigo, too, as a matter of fact. But that centrifugal force is pushing against my chest. In fact, it's, it's kind of hard for me to continue to talk here. But we're going faster and faster, and that force is more and more outward. Oh, no, they just dropped the floor away from beneath my feet. I'm not sliding down the wall because there's so much centrifugal force on me, pushing me against the wall, at least that's the way I want to describe it, that there's a lot of friction between the wall and my back, and I'm not sliding down the wall at all. Oh, boy. What the heck am I doing here? This is, I feel this tremendous force on my chest. But they're finally bringing the floor back up again. And hopefully they'll slow this thing down eventually. Centrifugal force will decrease, so will the friction. But by then I can just kind of slide down to the floor. And they're gradually, mercifully slowing it down. Oh, I know that there really isn't any such thing called centrifugal force but I swear there was really something pushing against my chest. And uh, I don't think I want to do this anymore. That's enough cheap thrills for today. Oh boy, centrifugal force is just a whole lot of fun. The corkscrew and the double loop, two of the scariest rides I've ever seen in my whole life. People going around and around with terrific speeds. How do they manage to stay in their seats? 